Hello guys, it's Alex for Invest here. Welcome to your 34th basic Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I think we're ready to be to be talking about GUI, which is graphical user interface. And it's a visual way for users to interact with the computer. So like web pages and things like that they use every day. That's basically what a GUI is. And an operating system is a GUI as well. Because it's a visual way of seeing everything on the screen. So, we want to create, in this program, I just want to cover basically the basics of how to just even get a GUI up. In order to do this, I want, right now I have a new file here, you want to do from tinker import star, and star is shift 8, and make sure you spell tinker right, and basically this is going to get all the functions and modules uh, in Tinker that we're going to be using. Now we got to create the window. Create the window. And to do that, it is root equal tk. Make sure you spell it exactly how I spelled it here. And we're going to modify root window by doing root.title and you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it simple GUI and root.geometry is going to set how uh, wide and how tall and wide it is. So I'm going to put 200 x 100 and make sure this is in a string as well. That's the common misconception is that people think that this since it's a number it's not in a string but it is and 200 is going to be the width, height is going to be 100, and it's separated by this x character right here that you also really need. Then we're going to run it. In order to do that, this is going to kick off the event loop, and it's called main loop, and that's it. For GUIs, you need to know that most GUIs are event driven, which means that they respond to actions uh, no matter which order that occurs first, basically. And this is a new type of way of, you know, new type of program. And when you bind events with event handlers, code that runs with the events, uh, I mean, We'll, we'll be talking more about binding events and event handlers, but if you know that stuff, then it'll be great. But you gotta make sure you have this, save it, and run it, and you're gonna see that my GUI is right here. This is the title, and this is the screen. And it stays here because it's in this main loop right here. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. In the next tutorial, we'll be talking more about GUI, setting up a maybe like labels and things such as that but hopefully you understand everything in this tutorial see you guys in the next tutorial